You win. Set the. Yeah, it's not that good. AI is so fucking lucky. Disgusting. Interesting. Somehow I doubt is random. This will do. About that, you are really good at this. Hmm. Feel silly. Yeah, I wish they never get steals. Ah, ah, funny game. over. Okay, go. Interesting. I go first, so... You win. Oh. Yeah. I'm not done. I forgot that does it after the game is over. Served on the multiplier. Oh. This oh, will yeah. do. Of course you get steel. Yeah, of course. Oh, three of them. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Fuck, stupid. Man. Dude. The AI is so fucking cheating. It's disgusting. Interesting.
This will do. now. We don't need to steal anymore. This victory will be mine. How did you do that? Let's get all attacks. On me, will ya? Sweet Oof. victory. You are pretty good. Another time. I'm looking for my brother, a large outspoken Norseman. Norse? Huh. Was he part of the fight here? Probably killed by Edwin soldiers. Get gone while you can. These soldiers always leave a bleeding mess. Are you the alewife here? You are not welcome here. I've had enough trouble with Danes today. I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm looking for my brother, a large Norseman. It was him what caused the ruckus. Him and that other one were here. Talking to Thane Giedrich. Then Lady Edwin's soldiers swept in. A fight broke out. Your brother and the tanned fella got away. The soldiers nabbed Giedrich, though. I was sorry to see that. He's well liked in these parts. Which way did my brother go? Hmm. What's it worth to you to find out? I'm asking a simple question. Look, Dane. You start a scene or a scuffle, and I'll scream for soldiers. I killed the entire town. You're risking your life, and I'm the one who'll take it. Oh, my. All I know is they jumped through the window. Guards! Help! 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 Yeah, scream. I killed the entire city. All the guards are dead. Every single one of them. God Need to get on the other side. Hey, now, get back Remain here. Remain steadfast.
can't shoot through that. Must be blocked from the other side. No game. No game. You see the giant fucking gaping hole? Go in the giant hole. Oh my god. No. No. No, no, no. no. Just go in the hole. Jesus fucking Christ. like a fish house. Good spot to hide. <gasps> Wait! Stop! Alan was Sahlan, Eivor. <sighs> we could have caught you to bloody giblets, Wolkist. Wise on earth, brother. It's not like you. Half the soldiers of the Shire are hunting us. You must have noticed. Is that I why you haven't all come of them. home? You're playing hide and fetch with merchant soldiers. Your brother's a busy man, Eivor. Weighed down by pressing duties. It's good to see you again, Basim. Even if you haven't kept my brother trained on the task at hand. It's not my place to lead your brother about like a bridled mare. Now there's an idea. Brother, we should be fortune alliances. Send this man back to his warren before he leads you astray. Eivor, gods above, I'm grateful you've joined us. We have made strides towards an alliance, in fact. A local thane called Gidritz has pledged an oath to me. I've heard of him. The alewife also mentioned a Lady Edwin who commands the soldiers. Why not ally with her? Lady Edwin's husband was the Shire's elderman, until Gudrun's army ended his life. Now she's taking up her husband's fight. With a promise of aid from King Alfred of Wessex. Edwin vows revenge on the Danes who stole her husband and her livelihood. From what we know, Alfred is a fearsome king. If Edwin can win his full support, this shire is lost to Wessex. So to fight her, you've pledged your sword to a minor thane who likely commands a gang of farmers and fishermen. Have faith, Eivor. A few hundred Saxons armed with hayforks and billhooks can be terrified. Gods. All men and women, noble or peasant, have within them the seeds of something greater. This is true. Sometimes greater than the average mind can fathom. Well, Edwin has Gidrich in shackles now. All your plotting has turned to ash. Not if we act soon. She dragged her prisoners to the Longhouse. With you here, we can mount a surprise strike. If Gidrich is our best chance for an alliance, let's see it done. Sigurd, has Basim talked you into something of little reward? Eivor, have you lost hope in my Warcraft? Oh. I heed Basim's wisdom. He follows my lead, always. He has the look of one who trusts none but himself. Basim is secretive by nature, for he is wise and forthright. And he has opened my eyes to a magnificent truth. He has promised me a reward so unusual, so incredible. It will shatter you. Fuck me! Try to flank! Yeah. Can't outrun me! He has promised me a 
reward so unusual, so incredible, it will shatter your mind to shards. Brother, our bond has the iron heft of a war axe. Do not let Basim and his prophecies of good fortune sway you from our simple goal. Never. Our goal is fixed. What we shall it? soon be the lords of Mercia, then all of England. But Basim has a deep insight. He's read wisdom in the lines of my face and heard the litany of my forefathers and... Well, there will be time enough for my saga later. Help me out here! Sigurd, kill this sweaty fishwife! Stay your blades! This traitor Giedrich will face trial, as will all the treasonous thanes of this shire. You're the traitor, Edwin, calling on Alfred of Wessex begging for his army. Clap your mead hole, Giedrich, lapdog of the Danes. You'll sell us out to Wessex, and that poxy-ass bastard Alfred, we won't have it. You're not the Elderman here, Lady Edwin. Turn around and walk away, and we'll leave you be. You heathenish fork-tongued Dane. Foul-smelling heap, I shit on you all. Lady, choose your next words with care. For you see before you the future master of all England, Sigurd, of the hungry Raven Clan. Lay down your arms, free my friend here, and kiss my lordly feet. You will not get a second chance. Sigurd, are you cracked? And you can kiss my rosy red ass, Wayface. I've done with this offal. I leave them to you. Flay them alive and tan their flesh for saddles. And we're just gonna let her walk away. Why? Get round the side. <laughs> what kind of mess did you get yourself into? Oh, oh, oh. Don't tie me. I can still play. To hell, the happy escapes. Yeah, because I was you let desperate her walk away. to fight. You should have freed me. Giedrich, this is Aver, my stone armed sibling. Well met. That was your plan, Sigurd. To charm the lady with your vague hope of kingship. Prophecy, Aver, not hope. No time to squabble. Edwin's taken most of the Shire's thanes. She has her way. They'll be dead by supper. Tend your wounds, Giedrich. We'll free your friends. And what of the holy woman, Fulke? You promised us a meeting with her. I did, aye. But it's a fair mystery why you'd want to talk Where is with... she? Thane Holt will know. Fulke lives on his lands. But he'll be dead with the rest if you don't stop the trial. Tell us where and we'll go now. Their lives depend on the speed of your tongue. Southwest of here, halfway to Oxenaforda, at the Leich Vila garrison. Basim! Eivor! To horse! Blue horse. Because that's a thing people say. Again, Aver, you and I, with blades drawn and hearts ablaze. Who is this Fulke that Basim spoke of? An ally, Aver. The most important ally. The holy woman, raised in prophecies and secret knowledge. 
That is not the sort of alliance we're looking for, Sigurd. No, it's even better. You cannot imagine what discoveries await. You're speaking strangely, brother. Because I'm alive, Eivor. My heart's alight with the fuel of battlefire. Like old times, eh? Yes, Sigurd. Like old times. Remember our hunts beyond the Northern Way? Our first big kill was a terrible deal. We brought it down together. The arrows from our bows like darts of ice. With sharpened shin bones for skinning the beast. You on the right, me on the left. We leapt and struck. We crashed to the ground like a felled tree. Then the bloody struggle. Damn animal bit my hand. Never knew a buck could bite so hard. But I pierced its throat, spilling its life wine into the drifts. That put an end to him. Such tales your siblings tell. Just one of a thousand. It was the glorious dawn of our lives. You haven't yet explained who this Fulke woman is. When the time is right, I will. She is the fulcrum of a larger plan. Above conquering England? What larger plan could we need? Patience, Ava. Patience. Fine. Keep your dread secrets, brother. But if this alliance fails, you may take them to your grave. This fever will break once you know the whole truth. I promise. Get on your stupid horse. Drunk as Thor Mithalvon. the trial. Out of my sight! They're about to execute the prisoners. Well, we can just go in and kill them. <laughs> Out of here before they huff my head. Stay close. I'll help the others. Fuck. 
Gidrid sent me to find you. Let's go now. Is that your best shot? Off our heads. Bless you all. Thanks to you, I live to pay Lady Edwin back in blood. I am Thane Holt. Does Giedrich live? He's safe in Buckingham. Good, Thane. We are at your side in this fight, to keep this land in the hands of those who love Mercia, be they Saxon or Dane. God in heaven knows I'd sooner see a Dane married to my daughter than sell a man of Wessex one of my pigs. If Giedrich is behind you, then I am too. We're told you know of a holy woman, Fulke. Where is she now? Can we not fixate on this cipher, Fulke? Edwin is our focus. Fulke holds a secret that may turn the tide of this fight. Without her, I cannot achieve my full purpose here. The madwoman Fulke? If you want my backing, brother, you'll explain yourself. How is a madwoman central to your plans? When we find her, I will tell you all you wish to know. Until then, nothing. Understand this. Fulke is a heretic, a sower of poisoned knowledge, and an enemy of the Church. She claims to have seen or spoken with God himself. And for this, Lady Edwin had her imprisoned. I know not where. At a monastery, I suppose. We should make inquiries. Sigurd, do we not owe Giedrich some word of what has happened here? You can speak with him in my stead. But we must hurry. Fulke's life may be in danger. We risk losing all the gains we've made here for the sake of this woman. Trust me, Eivor. Fulke is of great importance. You'll soon understand. I hope I will. We have a camp to the east at Linforta, an old harbor on the Great Ouse. Meet us there. We Thanes will raise a feared and join with you to take down Edwin, whatever it takes. Bring this news to Giedrich. Tell him we'll be ready when he calls. Every man will be needed. so secretive about everything it doesn't make sense I don't know why Avor is so fixated on him doing other things like he's already been telling her to do like to do everything anyways so, I, I don't understand this conflict that is currently happening right now between Sigurd and Eivor. Just because Sigurd won't tell her something, she gets all pissy about it. Ah, no and... soldiers here now. Giedrich has cleared them all out. And then what? You know? <gasps> This conflict that is currently happening is so freaking fabricated. It doesn't feel natural at all. It 
What's the difference now, right, between Sigurd telling you to go do this yourself and before when Sigurd tells you to go do things yourself? Like, he's been doing this. Like, hey, you go over there and, like, get allied with that region and this region. I go over here and do this, my own thing. She's well supplied, that's for certain. Yeah. Well done capturing these, lad. It was bloody business. It's dumb. It's fabricated. Oil jars, spring old arrows, fodder and the like. Take what's useful and burn the rest. Keithrich. Eivor. Do the Thanes live? Every single one. They've set out to raise a fear of fighting men. They all stand with you, Gietrich. We'll need every pike and poker we have to take down Edwin. And you, and your brother, are you still with me? I like your bluntness, Gietrich. My axe is yours. My brother's too. Edwin's plopped her haunches down in her castle now. She has men and supplies coming. Curse her eyes. Where is your brother and the odd fellow? They continue their search for the woman Fulke. He seems to think she will help us chase Edwin to an early grave. But I do not understand how. You do what you must, Eivor. I'll ready what men I've got for the coming fight. I'll move towards Kinnabella Castle and bring up the feared for an assault. Edwin's fortress is strong and sure. Is there anything I can do to weaken her grip on the Shire? Or make her anxious? Ah, there's a notion. You could ship away at her flag bearers if you see them, and defend my feared if any are in strife. We stole some of her supplies here. If you find any other stores like this, destroy them. That I can do. When you're ready for war, you'll find me at a camp near Kinnabella Castle. Mom's cowpap fortresses. Scientific. Multiple quests accepted. Some of these regions are still pretty big. Anyways. Weaken even cold on oxen for sure. <laughs> Seriously? I raided every single location. Like, nothing belongs to her anymore. And it's still barely half done because I didn't destroy specific carts. Stupid design. <laughs> so dumb.
I literally kill Ozzel like hundreds of soldiers. Hundreds. I should be cautious around here. Telling me that this lady who can climb fucking mountains with her fingertips can't grab onto those little nudges to climb up. How does that fucking make any sense? Near an old harbor. This is the camp. Hey! No mercy.
avenge that! <laughs> I don't fucking get it. I don't fucking get it. What is with this game and not pinpointing the location I have to go to? Like, like why? Why is it feel the need to be like, oh, we we're just gonna to leave you to like find us do randomly? Or do we dance around the idea? From what I've learned about Fulke, she's not shy about sharing her esoterica. If we ask her one question... And here's Eivor. Ah, you timed things well. The Holy Woman Fulke is close by. Imprisoned at St. Albanes Monastery, just around the bend. This is our moment, Eivor. After this, everything changes. I might be pleased for you if I knew who this woman was and why we needed her. I have explained enough. Now is the time for action. You've done nothing of the sort. Nothing but give me your blind word. I wish to speak to her. Me. Your Jarl. That alone is reason enough. Why? So she might cast a spell and turn Edwin into an eel. Fulke is not the only advantage we seek here, Aver. There will be treasures in St. Albanes. More than we can count. I've already plundered St. Albany's Abbey and lifted its treasures from Nave to Crypt. I saw no prisoners of note. She is there. I know it. And she is the most valuable treasure of them all. Eivor, there was a time when you would follow me without question. Because we trusted one another. Because you knew I would never lead you into folly. Never wager our lives before I knew the cost. Is there something that holds you back from embracing me as you once did? As your brother? Your family? Sigurd, you know I would never betray your... your trust in me. I'll fight with you. But there must be limits to this chase. Giedrich is counting on us. Of course he is. And soon we will deliver. Come. When you raided St. Albanes, are you sure you saw nothing? No crypts? No prisoners? Nothing I can recall for certain. What do we know of this woman? Very good. She appears to be an adventurer of sorts. The Thane called her a heretic. All the better for us. She's clearly someone who knows her own mind. I admire your optimism, brother. That's not nearby. I don't see it. Keep the rat busy! 
Beloved Jesus, for the wisdom to pierce a fierce cloud, to see beyond. Who dares enter this sanctuary? This stony cave reeks of piss and salty tears. How dare you? We've come for the woman Fulke. She need not bedevil you any longer. Oh, the mad heretic! Ah, the self-begotten spirit has sent an angel to deliver me. Open the door. Her heresies must be punished. Not by Danes or Mahometans, but by true Christians. Friar, our hands are bloody with the gore of your guardians. Is your god so starved of martyrs that you wish to die as well? You make a fine point. Let me pray on this. The Lord bids me to welcome all strangers. Here, friend. Take the key, and depart with your strange friend. Praise thee, Lord of the Treasury of Light, for this chance of deliverance. Are you sent by the angels of Sacklus, or the self-begotten one above? That I cannot answer. You are the woman called Fulke. I am Fulke in this realm. A humble seeker of the self-begotten one's true nature. And you are a collector of artifacts? The instruments of the children of Sackless the Fool. Yes, I am. I have many such curiosities. And you possess an object? A polished stone with unusual markings? Now, you're a curious one. A cowl in robes hiding tawny skin. And that devilish blade. Why do we linger here? Soldiers will be coming. There are stables beyond the monastery where we can speak in peace. Lead the way. Come. Present. Some weeks, perhaps a month. For your so-called heresies. Heresies, yes. I have been blessed to discover many profane objects in my lifetime. Objects which attest to the works of the Demiurge, the false god worshipped by these robed imbeciles. Across Germania and Francia, I found these relics and carvings. And here in England, too. 
Lady Edwin claims they are blasphemous, but her mind is clouded. The true worth of these objects is immense. May we see these objects? If you wish to know the truth of our origins, I will show you today. I would indeed. Enough of these mysteries, Sigurd. Fulke is a curator of objects of great worth, one of which may reveal my true nature. True nature? You said this was about victory, about defeating Edwin. To know that I am descended from the ancient gods is a victory. It would give me dominion over this land. Descended of the gods? Brother, what by Odin's eye are you saying? Fulke, we have heard that you possess a profane stone with strange markings and the image of a tree. That I do. A monolith I call the Saga Stone, for it came to this land with the Dane the Ragnar Eden. Lothbrok. Do you have it? It is the sun and moon of all my sacred objects. While you waste precious hours dreaming of your true nature, our hope for a swift victory is fading. Perhaps I should leave you three alone to hammer through your differences? We are unified. We only wish to see the stone, to read the runes inscribed upon it. No one on Earth can read those runes. The language is unknown and probably long dead. There is no risk in letting us look. No risk at all. Praise thee. Oh, self-begotten one, for sending these three to deliver me from my punishment. No whispering gods let me hear, Fulke. I brought myself. You came because I called you, Eivor. They spoke through me. Brother, you have my head spinning. And you fascinate me more with each passing moment. It's gonna turn out that Eivor's the one that's descended from gods. hidden away in the care of my acolyte. How much do you wanna bet? Are you bet? ready to go see it? The sooner we see this slab of rock, the better. Let's go. Approach the stone with an open mind, Ava. You may find it more interesting than you expect. What is it about this stone that captivates you, Fulke? The Saga Stone comes from an ancient race of beings, a generation of lesser gods, as do all the artifacts I collect for my church. You prayed to the Christ Jesus in your cell. Is your church not the Church of Rome, like these Saxons? These Saxons believe in Christ the Redeemer, but I know his true purpose. Christ the Educator, the Keeper of Secret Knowledge. Is this why Edwin loves you? For preaching such an idea? Yes. Christians like her, like, like Alfred, they believe Christ's purpose on Earth was to wash us free of sin. The Roman Church has been deluded by the lies of Saclus, or Yaldabaoth, the demiurge of many names. A lesser god. Saclus and his kind were wise in their time, but they lost sight of the true god, the self-begotten one, lord of the treasury of light. This is why Edwin had me punished and imprisoned. What she calls heresy, is, in fact, the true nature of the universe. Yours is a strange saga, Fulke. And I have not yet reached its end. Be on your guard. Someone is watching us. Take care, everyone. The villagers aren't happy we're here. Edwin's eyes and ears, no doubt. What is this tower? A ruin from England's Roman past. My acolyte found it abandoned and derelict. He took refuge here after his bishop expelled him for teaching the same truths that got me imprisoned. He was a priest. He was, and he is. 
the bishops of England are simply too craven and deluded to understand the secret wisdom we possess. Brother Paul! Are you here? Ransacked from floor to roof. Bassam, stand guard outside. This was Edwin's doing. I have no doubt. The stone is within? I asked Paul to hide it well. I do not know where. Is this him, your acolyte, Paul? My dearest friend. May you live as one with the true God in the treasury of light. Your friend paid the price for his loyalty. I imagine he was guarding the stone. Edwin's men did this. They killed Brother Paul and took my stone. You! Always questioning, second-guessing my wishes! You slowed us down, and I missed my chance! It's a stone, Sigurd! You're chasing shadows like a madman howling at the moon. What matters is victory against Edwin and her allies. This was my victory. To know my true self, my destiny, my... Hold, both of you. You hear that? Soldiers, Edwin's here. Yeah, Sigurd is gone insane. He's gone fucking insane. How dare you Danes befoul my lands? Hold our favor, first we talk. Lady Edwin! The stone was taken from this tower, inscribed with runes, and the image of a tree. Do you know it? Yes. One of this heretic's blasphemous baubles. Is that why you've come? We are here to trade. That stone for an assurance of peace. What are you saying? We gave Giedrich our word. For that stone, we will leave your lands and not return. Oh, for this, you must bring me Giedrich's head. The stone is within our grasp. We made a promise, brother. Brother. We have a deal, then. We accept. Done. We do not! Avon! No! Cut them down! <laughs> Leave that alive! Avon, are you mad? One, two, brother. Edwin, freeze! We had our chance! We will speak of this, Ava. I will not forget. Hey. He's literally betraying his entire religion. Like, literally his entire religion. Like, isn't a Wolfman word when they give it... and they have to keep it else they don't go into the hand.